and if I am guessing correctly, this box should be Funk Out Dana, this one should be Pretty and Punk Megan, and this one should be Independence Day Chloe. Alright, I cut the top portion of this box open so it's just so it wouldn't be painful to watch. And I didn't peek inside yet, and I'm super excited. Yeah, it's definitely Funk Out Dana, I can tell by the box tape. Uh, I can do this with one hand. Sorry, I had to pause it for a second so I could do it. Oh uh, yeah, it's Dana for sure, I can tell. Okay, time to take a good look at her. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Congrats! Oh my goodness! Uh, I am so excited I got her. She's my favorite from this collection. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Uh, I love her makeup. Her face is so beautiful in this line. Definitely one of my favorite Danas. I have that shirt I got like on another doll used. And I love that shirt, so I'm glad that I have the doll it came with. And her outfit is just phenomenal. And of course, Dana is like my second favorite brass character next to Jade, so loves it. And I love her artwork too. She's amazing. Loves it. So let's move on to the next box. Okay, this one's definitely Pretty and Punk Megan because I like opened the flap like this quickly. And I like saw the artwork and I was like, oh no, I'm going to spoil the surprise for me. But I already know what it is, so... Yeah, it's Pretty in Punk, Megan, and Pretty in Punk is like, it's like one of, if not, like my most favorite Bats line. I don't know if it's my most favorite, because it's hard to tell, but it's definitely like in my top three, or top five or so. Because, like, I love punk dolls. I think they're so amazing, and of course, no one does punk like the Bratz. And I'm so excited, because this is my first ever Pretty in Punk doll like, in our original outfit. I have Jade from Value Village, but to have... Megan brand new. It's amazing. She's so pretty. She has the face, the same face as um, Midnight Dance Megan, but I don't mind because I think that doll is beautiful as well. Um, maybe it's the same makeup too. I'll have to see because I can't really tell because she's on my shelf, but oh my god, she's so beautiful and I love her outfit. Her bangs are a little bit wonky. But that's okay, because I'm going to open her anyway. She's so beautiful. I can't wait to open these girls. Oh my goodness. Okay, last box, which is definitely Independence Day Chloe. So I was right. All right, moment of truth. The stings taped to high heaven. That's why I had to pause. Newspaper, my favorite. Uh, but even better, Chloe. Uh, she's beautiful. Oh, her, Some of her accessories are falling down. Oh, okay. Good thing I'm opening her because I'd be kind of annoyed by that because it was not like that when it was on the listing, that's for sure. If I was like keeping her in box, I'd definitely be annoyed by that. But I'm going to be opening her so it's all cool. It's all good. She's so beautiful. I love her. And she was only like $20 in the store. Well, like original price $29.99. But even that is still like amazing because nowadays she'd be like $50, which is really lame. But... For back in the day, $30 for this doll was amazing, considering how, like, limited edition it was. Loves it. So yeah, those are all the Bratz dolls I got today. Do expect reviews on them. To pick out a doll to pick out first for the review, that's going to be a challenge. But I think I'm going to do them in order, actually. Okay, I'm going to open up Dana, because she's the most basic. And... Yeah, there's not like as much to her as the others, so I'm gonna do Dana first, and then Chloe, and then Megan, because she's probably my favorite, and I want to save the best for last. So, yeah, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys!